Okay, so it's been a few days since I made it out here to the greenhouse. I'm gonna apologize in advance for my being short of breath. I've been sick the last few days and it has made my asthma really act up. But William has got an incredible amount of work done on the walls here that will frame the humongous door that I showed you in the last video. So he's gonna tell us all about it. Okay, I'm standing on one of the foundation stones. I think we mentioned these in a previous um, video. These are really big, big stones. Took the bulldozer to push them in here. They're down in the ground four feet. And the bottom of the door is gonna be up here about two, around two feet. So this is where you'll be walking in to the greenhouse. And it will be right here. I'm kind of in the center of where the door is now. So we'll bring that steel door frame in here and we'll get it tied into this rebar. I'm putting this uh, reinforcing bar in right here. It's just normal reinforcement part of the for concrete. And it goes all the way up. So we're just putting them in here. We have them, um, so it's already in this wall. There's several pieces in that stonework that I've done. And we're just setting up the stone wall. So it's a rustic style for the stone wall. We're just using the normal stones that are in the, just we're just picking them up right here. And then we're putting the mortar together and we just bought the components. We're not buying pre-made mortar, that's too expensive. And we're just mixing it up and setting the stones. It's just like building a fireplace or a rock wall or anything like that. You've done There's, quite a bit of that in the past. Yeah, so. I have. There's not a lot of artisans nowadays that build exclusively out of stone. It's not exactly a, a building method that people use nowadays. What they'll do now is they'll frame a house. And so it'll be regular framed with studs and whatever like a plywood or some type of board and then you would put on a black plastic not plastic but a black tar paper and then chicken wire and then you would stick these stones to the wall so you'd start at the bottom of your wall about that big with big wide stones and every time you go up you come in an inch or so so by the time you're at the roof your wall is only that thick so it kind of slopes in and that's the way that uh, you would build a modern fireplace or rock the outside of a modern home. Um, sometimes people will rock uh, um, concrete walls, but that's not what we're doing here. We are building this with nothing but stones and uh, people aren't in here. It's not like a home you're living in. So it's just an agricultural building. But it's gonna be solid. These walls are four feet um, thick at the bottom and they're coming up. They're gonna slope up, slope in, just like you'd build it in a normal construction, a modern day construction. Um, there's a couple of rules. The first rule is you'd never want to place a stone where it would fall if it wasn't held in by mortar. So this stone right here has a slope to it. But if I put a stone here, which way is it going to roll? It's going to roll inside of the wall. And this one sloped, which way is that stone going to go? It's going to come inside. So the wall is hooked together like this. As long as gravity keeps working, then this stone <laughs> will be here for 100 years or 5,000 years. It is 2020. Gravity might give it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shoot. We all have... Each generation has their challenge. Maybe we won't have gravity after a while. Everything else is falling apart. So the mortar is simple. It's Portland, lime, sand. And to make a load-bearing wall, you want six parts sand, one part Portland, one part lime, and you can have a good load bearing wall. So that's how we're fixing this up. It's the very same thing that people use for uh, making load bearing walls wherever you make them. And then you can get really technical on different mixtures for different specific things. But this is simple enough for us. So that's what we're doing right here. So uh, I was just putting some rebar up here today. It's supposed to freeze tonight, so I don't want any of my mortar to be wet when it freezes. 
so we came out here early. We were done laying stones today by uh, about 9.30 this morning. You can see so the difference in color. it long to set up. You can see the darker color. Okay, see the light color right here? That was what we did yesterday. And this is what we did today. It still looks wet, but it's not. It's, it's very hard. So it will be dry enough even if it does freeze tonight. It's supposed to get down to 30, which is freezing, obviously. And uh, we don't want it to be wet when it freezes. We so harvested a lot of sweet corn so, today, too. <laughs> so we stopped by 9.30 this morning. Um, hey, will you talk to us just a little bit about those little things you've got in the rock? So there? I took a diamond saw and I cut into the rock. And then I just took a piece of steel and stuck it in into the stone. And that's all the way through this foundation. Um, so I'm stepping on one right here. And that just holds the stone wall to the larger foundation rocks. See, it's the same idea as the rebar. It's just something that holds it together. Reinforced concrete works better than if it's not reinforced. So therefore, we reinforced it. But they're stuck in there. I had to pound them in with a hammer to get them in there. Okay, I see something else we need to update on too because I started filming after this line went in or the the trench with the pipe had been dug. So can you talk a little bit about that? Because I it had already been put in <laughs> when you were started on the wall electricity water if we want to plug something in we have electricity if and we want to water the garden we have water and it is live. so if you go back and you watch the original um the original videos that i did before this big wall was in they actually trenched from this corner down over there to the um creek and they came up through that area because that's where the outlet is for the irrigation water that comes down off the mountain right yeah yeah so that's where we brought it in from and i hadn't said anything about that earlier so, so there yeah. is one more thing here that, oh, yeah. that wasn't here last time see the steel bar going along oh yeah that it's wasn't here up. that's where we're going to mount our poly lock system too so that the plastic will hook on there so from there down to the berm that's where you can open it. That will be a path that will roll up and down. Nice. And so as the as it heats up in here, which obviously it does, greenhouses get very hot, then the hot air will be able to rise and it will just go right out there. The best ventilation in greenhouses is ridge top ventilation. I don't like them in the ridge unless you have a way to walk along the ridge because um, any kind of vent system will need maintenance from time to time. So this one is just as good. And you can access and it. And you can access it. We can walk right along <coughs> there and we can reach out and access that. Uh, we put that whole piece of steel in without having to have any kind of a ladder on this side. Um, Jared just went along there and welded that on perfectly um, just from up there. So all maintenance can be done without climbing a ladder or using a piece of machinery of any kind. You know. So that's a nice thing to do. So this over here, this vent will open. That three foot sidewall will roll up. Mm -hmm. And then that uh, six foot roof vent will roll up. So that'll give us really good airflow all the way through the greenhouse. I've got weddings on the brain since we you know, had one of our own this last weekend. Our son got married to a beautiful young woman. I thought I got married to you. Well, that was you know, a quarter century ago, but <laughs> it's been a good 25 years. Um, I was just thinking, this is a great, this is a great wedding venue. We got a couple more kids coming up, you know. <laughs> look at this greenhouse. Yeah, look how pretty it is. I'm just looking at it thinking how pretty it's gonna be. <laughs> well, you know, got weddings on the brain. Anyway, so there's the greenhouse update. It's beautiful, things are growing. William's out here working. The garden is kind of at the last legs. We've got a cold front coming in. It got down to 34 last night. It's supposed to hit 30 tonight or 29. There's a couple of different websites. And so it'll be done pretty much, which is too bad. Uh, next year we'll have to start a little earlier, but you know, we're in over here earlier. So it's great. Apples, apples will be doing good after a frost. Anyway, have a wonderful day. Greetings from Clover Valley.